Welcome to the family. I just took my grandma to mass. And I'm a horrible, horrible granddaughter who did not take her to breakfast afterwards because I don't feel good. I've had a chest pain since last night um, that actually woke me up in the middle of the night and now I've got some back pain going on. And it's probably nothing. I'm probably just stressed out, but it doesn't feel right. So I'm on my way to Brent Alexis so I can call 911 because I can't really do it at Nana's and freak her out. My daughter just called me and told me that her bus driver will not be bringing her home because they went on strike. And I looked it up and it's confirmed. It's called the Wildcat Strike. So now I gotta go pick up my daughter. Is Dylan gonna be affected too? It just says apparently Wildcat Strike by hundreds of Miami-Dade bus drivers is causing transportation problems for score of students on Friday. Published today from the Miami Herald. Um, I've been having chest pain since last night. 29. I think so. Um, yeah. Let's be sure. Let's be sure. You feeling the same thing from yesterday? Yeah, I woke me up last night. And this morning, because I, I took Nana to mass and it started, my, it started radiating to my back. Probably. How do you feel right now? Stupid. <laughs> Um, a little late. I think you've been feeling like this since this morning. Yeah. Like last week. Mm -hmm. Ten, Ten years, mate. Ten years, <laughs> 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 Things will have to shake sometimes. <laughs> and nothing's better than peace of mind as well. You know, you know it's nothing. I guarantee 99.9% is probably nothing. But go through, go to the doctor and do all the tests. So you know it's nothing. 100%. The fact that it's there and it's not going away, you know. Better safe than sorry, you know. All right, young lady. Well, hope better. you feel better. Keep doing what you're doing, it's awesome. This is the inside of his Jeep. It's blue, I feel like a Smurf. La 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 la. <laughs> Actually, no, yeah, that is him. Ah, hey, what are we doing here? Bodybuilding gym. Bodybuilding gym. He wants me to start working out with him again. So today is leg day. So we are knocking out some leg presses to begin. What day is it for you guys for your workout? What do you mean you don't work out? What do you mean? It's lightweight today. It's not even that bad. Just wrap it out, guys. Uh, just because my dad doesn't want to do legs this week. <laughs> so doing legs with me today. And for you, I'm going to tear up your upper body. Yeah, we're a little bit tired. Haven't worked out forever. So it's like this is the new gym that we're gonna be going to. So can't even feel my shoulders. <laughs> Are we gonna start going to the gym from now on? I'm, I'm gonna be here every day. Okay. Hit, hit me up, so I'm gonna do personal training sessions. Starting out 45 bucks up for an hour. Best workout you ever got in your life. Okay, so 60 minutes again. Do they still have that last guy at the end? That looks like he's dying since he was like 20. I, I think, think he, he died. died. He, he died? died? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think this no. guy, like, we will not have Yeah, if you watched 60 minutes, you would have heard all that. He retired. <laughs> now, he retired. It's, now it's 59 minutes. He retired. He retired. <laughs> Anyway, there's an episode there's food, right? where they were ta discussing about memory, and yeah. I think it's right. something the that you could watch. The food is good. Did I you cook? I cooked it. No, he cooked. I cooked everything. No, I'm not. Oh, whoa. <laughs> oh, we're trying to play, man. We're trying to no, play. He didn't try. He's not hungry. He has not tried. Oh, I'm going to cook it. I'm going to play. He's not trying to say anything. He said it. There's no try in that comment. Nobody knows that. Anyway, have you ever jumped out of a plane? Yes. When? We will push off. <laughs> Dude, you're not a risk taker. How many times did you jump out of a plane? You're always, you're very calculated. Really? Yeah. Okay. He was very drunk. <laughs> he didn't drink it. He got to the military. That's when he jumped out of the plane. That's when I jumped out of the plane. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne, you got drunk. why'd you jump out of the plane? Because I was forced to. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> That's different. That different. Who forced you out of the plane? The military? Sergeant, you, got, you got Sergeant Muscles over here telling you to my jump. My master sergeant. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> See, I told you, jump for the play. Okay, but wait a minute. It wasn't by choice. I didn't say it was by choice. I okay. just told you he jumped out of a plane. You know okay, what? now, now, did you bungee just jump? Like your seminars, I would do it. After the first time, you get a feel for it, and you. So ready. did you go twice? No. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Bert Oliva from Bold Worlds. Welcome to the Family Show. And what I what? Yeah, it's kind of difficult when you talk to yourself. So what I want you to do is I want you to comment, subscribe, forward, repost, do whatever it is that you're gonna do to make sure no one misses this show. But do it now. Do do. What are you waiting for? Do it now. Now.